In today's video, I will be showing you a bunch of house glitches on Brookhaven. We got methods on how to get two houses, how to sneak into houses without a sleeping bag, and even secret entrances on Brookhaven. So as many of you know, you're only allowed to spawn one house on Brookhaven. If we spawn this house right here and try to get another, right here you can see it says, you already own a house. But guys, I found a method that allows us to have two houses on Brookhaven. This TikTok explains that if we go to our props, select the house option and just start building, we can create our very own house exactly how we want it. Let's try this out. Why is this guy running towards me? My house is so much better than yours. Dude, that's so unhumble of him. I've never seen this man in my life. We need to prove to this guy we are richer. In your dreams, pal. <laughs> this guy is just so mean. We need to go ahead and get two houses to make him look like a fool. So if we go into our inventory and select the props, you can see there's an option to get a house right here. It's not the best looking, but don't worry. I can make this look a lot better. So we need a sleeping bag we can just use as the bed. And outside I'll build a little driveway for our cars. Behind the house will be a safe to hide all of our money. And of course we need something to cook our food. We can't get hungry out here. What if we add another house to make it bigger? Dude, that's way better. Give me a second to adjust the house. Okay, lastly I will add a farm at the back for all our horses. They're so cute. Wait, don't forget the Lamborghini. This wouldn't be a rich house without a Lamborghini parked outside. Let's go prove to him we're richer. Come look at my second house. This house is so bad. Dude, why is she being so rude? He hasn't even looked around yet. Wait, I'm in fire. Someone call an ambulance. Oh, it's gone. Let me show him my cute horses. Aren't they cute? He said no. This guy sucks. I will prove to him we're richer with another method. But for now, let's move on to some secrets. So apparently in this daycare, there's a way we can break in without even needing to glitch through the door. We simply run through the roof. And as you can see, there's a small gap we can crawl through. So I found this daycare in a public server. And it looks like it's being guarded off by this ice cream woman. What the heck? Let's try and enter normally. No, read the sign. It says do not enter. Why am I not allowed to enter? Let's play dumb and say I can't read. I'll bite you. Whoa! Chill out, dude! I'm not trying to catch a disease. We need to get onto the roof without getting caught. There's a ledge here we can just jump off of. Easy! Now we can use this little beacon to climb to the top. Look! We're through. Let's call the ice cream woman a noob for not seeing us enter. Okay, let's run. Before I escape this place, of course, I have to rob the good old safe. I need some money for that super hard task. If we also run up here, we can see there's a secret room with just two chocolate bars. That's so damn weird. Hey, I found a secret. This bacon found me a secret. Where the heck is it, bro? Follow me. All right, I guess we're following him. He better not be trolling me. He's taking me to a farm. Okay, I think we need to jump up to the roof. Wait, there's a secret room here. What the heck? We can literally turn this into a house. Thank you, Mr. Bacon. Let's get decorating. Here will be our bed. We can't have a house without a bed. Let's also place a couch. And right here, I'll just place a giant gun in case if anyone tries to sneak in. This might take a while, so let's speed this up. All right, and lastly, we got a sign that tells you to like the video. Like right now. This is our beautiful house. I'm getting too comfortable here. Let's move on to the next glitch. So next, we got a hiding spot inside this house. They somehow glitch in using a book. And right here, we can see they run behind the refrigerator and hide there from the owners. What the heck does this woman want from me? Wait, she's got a gun. Let's just move on to the glitch, bro. I'm not trying to get hurt. So I think it's this house right here. And they somehow break in using the book. But this is not working right now. In the video, they are tiny, so let's try that. Nope. Guess that glitch doesn't work. But we can still try out the refrigerator glitch. I believe it's right here. It works. So if you guys ever break into this house, make sure to hide here. They will never find you. This next secret allows us to teleport to a whole nother game. Apparently, we need to be in a dead server. For some reason, everyone's left this server, so it should work. We need to say these words before it turns 3 a.m. and simply run inside the grave and we get teleported to the back rooms. Okay, this definitely doesn't work, but we might as well try this. It's almost 3 a.m. Let's say the words go back. And now we should be... Wait, dude, I'm actually in the back rooms, what the heck? Okay, guys, that was a joke. We unfortunately didn't actually get teleported to the back rooms. It would be funny if that was actually a feature, though. So next, we got a glitch that allows us to glitch through any wall. We need to do Dance 21, and as you can see, he just glitches through no problem. So let's go to the same wall and do Dance 21. So we do the dance and try to glitch our body inside the wall. Give me a moment to do this correctly.
Oh, it works! Dude! Okay, that's really useful for breaking into people's property. I didn't think that would actually work. Another glitch inside the police station is over here inside the police cams. Make sure you have your binoculars out, and then select any camera you want. Now if you equip your binoculars and spam the emote, you'll be able to see an outside view of the camera. This looks so cool! It also works if we're using this on the house cams. Look what happens when we do it. We can literally just look around the area where the houses are. So I'm sure a lot of you saw my video on the Brookhaven update. Well, there's a few secrets I haven't yet showed you guys. And the first one is literally right here inside the wall. I'm not sure what this room even does, but you can troll your friend by placing an agency poster here and pretending it's an agency room. If we also run down into the main base, you'll see we have an option to spawn a pool. Well, this doesn't actually spawn a pool. This for some reason makes the roof completely invisible. So now we can see what's on top of the main layer. I don't think there's anything up here though. Another secret I forgot to show you guys was inside the maze. So I'm sure a lot of you are already aware of the secret tunnel that leads us to the safe. But I didn't show you guys how to properly enter this tunnel. If we run all the way to the end of the maze and click this invisible button, we now gain access to a super secret tunnel which leads us to the safe. So the next house secret I'll show you is literally a way we can get premium houses for free. The first method is simple, but it's how we can get this premium house you see here for free. We need to spawn this construction house right next to it and we need to run over to the different modes and click the build one. Now as you can see we have the building for free, but the inside is completely empty. Not to worry though, if we look in our props tab we can spawn all the furniture we need. Right here we can spawn the computer, and we can even make it better by spawning a few arcade machines to play with. We can also spawn this dining table, and of course we need some couches for the super modern TV we can place on the wall. And this TV actually works! Okay now we also need to fill in the bedrooms. And that's a premium house for completely free. If we also join this Brookhaven copy, you'll need to make your way over to the houses section and right here you'll see there's a bunch of free premium houses we can just grab. And these houses actually work. I'm sure there's more ways we can get free premium houses, but those are the easiest ways I've found so far. You haven't showed how to get two real houses yet. Alright, well I've been searching around and the easiest way I've found to get two houses is literally just by getting your alternative account and making him spawn one next to yours. We can literally use both of the houses as if we own them all on one account. If you have enough alt accounts, we can literally own every house in the server. But there's no way we have enough time for that. That would take forever. If we could spawn two houses on one account, it would delete the super annoying house timer when you spawn the wrong house. Hopefully in the future Brookhaven adds a feature to own two houses, or at least do that on a private server. Get the hell out! <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and watch another video on screen. Bye, Bye guys!